Welcome back to another insightful episode of Becoming Me, Discovering You. I'm your host, Quan, and today I will be talking about the importance of setting boundaries in relationships, no matter if it's with friends or a romantic partner. As we navigate through life, it's important that we put our well-being first and create a foundation of respect, trust, and open communication. Join me as we get into this journey and learn how to set boundaries effectively in our relationships. Let's start off with defining what boundaries are. Now, to me, boundaries is what's acceptable and what's not. Or in other words, from what I found from my research, it is the personal limits we establish within ourselves and with others. So when it comes to relationships, when you set boundaries, it does help make sure the people you're having this relationship with or you're in the relationship with, it makes sure they respect your needs, emotions, and your values. And when you're setting the boundaries, whatever they may be for you personally, you start to create a healthy dynamic within your relationships. So I do want to let y'all know what the secret of setting boundaries is. Some of y'all may know, but it's communication. So when we communicate our boundaries, it just, again, it helps create that healthy dynamic. So you got to be able to talk about it. You got to be able to sit down and have a conversation with the people that you are having these relationships with, no matter how it makes you feel. Um, Some of these conversations are going to be uncomfortable, especially on on the journeys of self-discovery. And you may have to have, it's you're going to have some tough conversations. So in setting boundaries with people that you love it's going to be one of the toughest conversations out there. That's how I, me personally, that's how I feel. So how would you know when it's time to start setting boundaries within your relationships? For me, I knew it was time for me to set boundaries when I started feeling disrespected, drained, and overwhelmed within my relationships. So I knew it was time for me to sit down and have these conversations of this is how I'm feeling. This is how I want to feel. This is how I want you to basically treat me. So that's that's when I wanted to start having those conversations. And I also before I started before I started having those conversations, I also started having conversations with God about him basically teaching me and showing me how to how to how to co- communicate that my feelings because it can be kind of hard and difficult for me to let somebody know basically how to treat me because I feel like as in, as anybody that it should be a given to how to treat me but it's really not if you don't tell somebody how you want to be treated if you don't give somebody the instructions to something how they gonna know how it work so I know I have to do that Now, one of the most common scenarios for me when it comes to setting boundaries that I find myself having a hard time is with my friends. And I feel that way because I, quote unquote, feel myself as being the strong friend. I am that strong friend. I love being the strong friend of the group. But Sometimes I just forget that they really forget that, oh, I'm human. And when I mean, when I say that, I mean, basically, they forget I got shit going on too. And I just sometimes be needing a how you doing from time to time. Now, don't get me wrong. Like I said, I really do love being that friend of the group where everybody can come to me. They trust me with their life, basically. So... I really do enjoy that, but I do feel like they forget my life is life in two. Now, like I said earlier, communication is the key to being able to set up these healthy boundaries within these friendships. Um, And I can admit, I really don't, really, really don't communicate that well to some of my friends. But I also thought that with some people... They will understand, you know, they will understand the right thing to do. They will understand how to treat me because they hear 
they've heard conversations I've had about how other people treat me and how I don't like how other people treat me and what I want from other people that, and not just other people like random people or people like associates or coworkers. No, like people that I'm close with relationship wise, they've heard these type of stories of what I expect from a nigga. So if I expect this from a nigga, he just a nigga. Why wouldn't I expect this from you 10 times fold? You know, so that's that's where I that's where the line is for me. And I am trying to take the steps and make sure that I do communicate what my boundaries are and not just expect them to know because hey, you've been my friend for 10 years and you've seen how I want other people to treat me, so you should treat me this, you should treat me the way I want them to treat me. I mean, the way I'm telling you I want them to treat me, but I can't really expect that because it, some people don't read between the lines. I know everybody, but some people don't read between the lines, so you got to be able to have those clear-cut conversations about what your boundaries are. And I feel like when you do have those conversations and you do have those um, communications with somebody and they still treat you the same way, that's when it comes a time to you for you to sit down and have a conversation with yourself and God. Like, okay, God, I know it's going to be hard for me to let this person go because I, I feel this way about this person, again, regardless if it's a friend or a romantic partner, whatever. I feel this way. I love this person. And to me, it's hard for me to just let somebody go that I genuinely, truly loved, that I would jump in front of a bus for because you were my person, you were my friend, you know what I mean? And when I tell you how I felt and you really basically just spit back in my face and continue to treat me the way I told you I did not like being treated, then that's when it comes, okay, now I got to I gotta let you go, you know, and that's what that's that's basically how that is and that's really the most common that's why I really feel like I need to really set my boundaries for me because again I'm and and it's not and when I say check on me or communicate with me I'm not, I'm not that person that I feel like oh I want you to be a leech to me I need to know even with with friends or relationship, I need to know your move every X, Y, and Z minute. No, I'm talking about check on me once a month. I'm talking about like, it ain't even got to be every day. It's again, just once a month. Just check on me once a month because I'm very comfortable being by myself. I'm very comfortable sitting in my own shit and figuring it out myself because again, I'm not only that strong friend, I'm a strong person. So I know I, I, I'm I able to sit within my own shit and figure it out without having it affect other relationships or anything like that. But I'm very good at that. So, and that's, and that's why I say when it comes to like a boyfriend relationship, I feel like with that, setting boundaries with that, I'm very good with that because I'm good at letting a nigga know how I want you to treat me. I'm good at, I'm good at letting him know that I need X, Y, and Z from you and whatever. Emotional wise, I'm good at letting him know that. I'm good at letting him know, hey, I ain't, I ain't going to check on you every five minutes because if you're doing something, it's going to come back anyways. It's going to come back to bite you and not me. It's going to be known. So that there doesn't, That's where I feel like I have strong boundaries for that. And my only thing with it is I do want to be able to find somebody whenever I find them, not me find them, whenever God brings them into my life. I want them to be able to enjoy their personal space as well. That's something big in a relationship that I like. Because don't get me wrong, I'd rather just say my man, my man, my man. But I want to be able to say, my man can go do what he needs to do and not just go to work, but he can go out and hang with his friends and I can go out and do what I need to do, hang with my friends or whatever. And no, we're going to meet up and it's going to be the same vibe. It's not going to be he texting me like, oh, you with this nigga and I'm texting him, you with this bitch. No, 
we just comfortable in our own skin. We comfortable with being ourselves and we're comfortable within our relationship to know that we can have our own space. I don't want somebody that's stuck to my hip 24 hours. I don't need that. I just need to be able to have a healthy relationship with these healthy boundaries, knowing that I can have my own personal space and you can have your own personal space. And also when we come together, we have a very healthy relationship together too, not nothing that's toxic or we hate being around each other. No, it's going to be the same energy as when we were by ourselves. So I do I do want that in a relationship. Um, I found that part to be difficult for me because I'm not that person that you got to be stuck up under me. I don't got to be stuck up under you. And sometimes that can be an issue because they think I'm doing something or whatever, but it's just that I'm comfortable with being by myself. So sorry if you're not. But yeah, so that is something that I want to have. And I please, I don't want y'all to think that I'm just saying, I'm I'm saying like, oh, I'm just so independent. I don't need a man. No, because I believe a totally different way. I believe a way that I don't even think people still believe to this day. But I feel like that'll be something that I'll discuss with y'all another time. If y'all want to know, make sure y'all comment on my Instagram, becoming me underscore discovering you. And let me know if that's something y'all want me to discuss. Or you can also leave something down below up under my Spotify if you're listening to me there. Now, um, with all that being said, I do want to understand the importance of what setting boundaries are. So with it, we're going to talk a little bit more about practical strategies, basically strategies for us to establish and maintain these relationships with setting these boundaries. And one of the main strategies that is key, another other than communication, is self-awareness. Being able to be aware of what your own needs are, what your limits are, um, and your values, what they are, that's very critical in knowing before you go set boundaries. Um, because you're not going to be able to uh, communicate effectively if you don't know yourself, if you haven't really realized who you are. And and keep in mind, like I said, as as y'all know, this podcast is becoming me discovering you. We still discovering it. We're still discovering who we are. So your boundaries, what they are today, they may not be the same in 10 years. So just being able to know those key functions, you need to know what your limits are and what your values are. That's very critical. Those two things of knowing before setting those boundaries is key um, to know for anybody, to have that for anybody around us. Now, another strategy is being able to have an open and honest communication. And again, as I said, communication is the key, is the secret to being able to have set clear boundaries because you got to be able to communicate it. So always being clear when you express what your boundaries are, but you got to make sure when you're expressing these boundaries, you're not expressing them from a disrespectful manner or you're not coming off rude or you're not coming off being like you're controlling or anything like that. You got to be able to be respectful when you are expressing what your boundaries are and what you expect from other people. And that's with anything when you're having a conversation with somebody and you got to be able to be respectful, you can't be disrespectful and think, <clears throat> sorry, you can't be disrespectful and think that you're going to get respect. You're not, you're not at all. Now, um, the last thing, but it sure is not the least, it is important to always um, remember when you say your boundaries, again, it's not about controlling the other person but it's about taking responsibility. And when I say you're taking responsibility of your own well-being, you got to be able to take responsibility of that. 
You can't set no kind of boundaries if you're not taking responsibilities of how you know you want to be treated, your well-being. You got to be able to do that. And when you are setting it, you got to also remember when you set these boundaries, sometimes, as I said, well, like I said, with self-awareness, we still discover who we are over the years. You're going to continue to discover who you are from I'm 35 now. I guarantee when I'm 45, I'm not going to be the same Quan. So I may have different boundaries or my boundaries may adjust a little bit because of the time that I'm in. But so with that, you got to know that you are able to adjust them. It's OK. Your boundaries ain't going to remain the same. You're bound at, at all. You're going to be able to, to adjust them and you got to be able to know you're going to readjust. I mean, renegotiate them. So it's OK with that because, again, things do change. So you got to be able to know and it's OK to know that my boundaries ain't going to stay the same as they was when I was 25. They damn sure ain't the same when I was 25 as 35. Totally different. I can most definitely tell you that. Now, I don't I do want to leave y'all with my final thoughts on how setting boundaries can contribute to uh, nurturing a healthy relationship. Um <clears throat> sorry. How it is to contribute to um a healthy relationship is that boundaries set respect and understanding between individuals. And as we establish these clear boundaries, it allows others to better understand our needs. Um it helps them understand our needs and also leads to healthier and more authentic connections. As we say, more loyal connections, more genuine connections to somebody that we're in these relationships with. And setting boundaries also helps create a space space of growth. And most importantly to me, it prevents resentment from building up against somebody. Because how many times, and I'm guilty of this, and I can say, with my dad, my real daddy, I was so resentful to him. And it, it didn't help at all because I didn't, one, I never, I didn't let it go. Um, I wasn't effectively trying to communicate how I felt. Now, mine, he didn't pick up what I was laying down when I did finally communicate that. So I had to, at that point, when I laid my boundaries out to him, how I felt, how I wanted him to treat me, how I needed him to treat me. He didn't respect that, so that's where the time came to he doesn't deserve that. So I let that go. And it also allows us to prioritize our mental, emotional, and our physical well-being. And I feel like now nowadays mental is becoming real important. It's just it's just as important now as it is as your health, as your heart. And I do really, really like that because there was times when people didn't care about how your brain was feeling or how you was mentally, how you was dealing, because if they couldn't see it, you wasn't sick. If your arm wasn't falling off or something, you okay. Pray about it and keep moving. So with setting up these boundaries, it does help with that mental health state of making sure you stay on top of your mental health game. I'm a big advocate for that. So make sure you have your mental health together. Um, now, <clears throat> with all that being said, I have reached the end of today's episode, sad, um, where we were exploring the importances of setting boundaries in relationships. Now, I want y'all to remember by establishing and maintaining your boundaries, we create a healthy environment where, where um, mutual respect, trust, and growth can thrive. So always remember that when you maintain your boundaries, you are thriving. But until next time, keep embracing your journey of self-discovery and nurturing these healthy relationships, y'all. And as always, make sure you have a good day. I would like to thank you all for taking time out of your day to listen to today's episode. If you would like to leave some feedback about today's episode, be sure to head over to our Instagram at becomingme underscore discovering you and drop your comment under today's post. 
It will also be a great help to the podcast if you would leave some feedback as well as rate the show. But until next time, always remember, becoming is a journey, not a destination. Have a great day.